Yo, what is up guys? It's the Pure Experience here bringing you another video on Call of Duty. This video we're going to be talking about some recent Call of Duty changes within the multiplayer of Call of Duty Ghosts. So recently we've had a title update or just generally balancing update to, you know, sort out some bits and bobs within the game which were, were not as good. I know it's a bit late for kind of these updates to be in being applied but you know better late than never right you know it'll make it a little bit more playable well it is definitely playable but it'll make it a little bit more better and more balanced for us guys will enjoy the game so this update was applied to every platform so xbox one 360 ps4 ps3 and pc pc got it quite a while ago we got it with the recent update of the dlc and uh, we're going to talk about some of the bits and bobs so first of all we're going to talk about the mtar so a lot of people have been saying the MTAR has been buffed. Well, I can tell you right now on this list there is no MTAR. There is no MTAR being buffed or anything like that. So the rumour was the MTAR was buffed. A lot of people were saying the MTAR had 15% more damage. Also, some people were saying the MTAR was actually uh, the, the increased the damage at range, therefore making the drop-off range slightly higher and, you know, easier to kill at range, just like it used to be. But they haven't, it's not here, I can tell you that it hasn't been buffed. Uh, I believe someone actually did a tweet from Infinity Ward not too long ago uh, saying there was no buff, they don't know what you're on about. So I just thought I'd get that out of the way, the entire has not been buffed, it's just people wanting to believe something what's not true. So going down to the next part, the killstreaks balancing. So this is quite good, uh, the killstreaks have been balanced quite good, so now a uh, vulture now lives for 90 seconds, which is in line with a sentry gun, which is great, because the vulture is such an underrated killstreak, I've used it multiple times, on small maps it gets you a bunch of kills, and is great. Before it used to last for maybe 30, maybe 45 seconds, you've got like 90 seconds now, so you've got an extra maybe 25-30 seconds out of the vulture, which is a lot better. So we've got some juggernaut buffs as well. We've got assault juggernaut is actually had an increase of movement speed by 15%. Support juggernaut has a movement increase by 5%, and the assault slash juggernaut both have the focus perk. Yes, so finally they do have focus perk because playing without the perk focus is impossible. People do complain when they're not using it uh, that they're getting outgunned. Well, that's the reason you're getting outgunned because the uh, the perk is just, it's such a vital thing, you need to use it. So, do use it. So, the look is being buffed. Yes, the best kill streak on the game is being buffed, you know, because it was utter shite. I'm not gonna lie, it was horrible. Used it like three or four times, never again. I'm still probably not gonna use it because it's such a boring streak to actually use. But I'll talk through it anyway. So, the large rods now can be fired every four seconds instead of seven seconds. The rod fires 1.5 seconds instead of two seconds after a trigger pull. Also, the small rods now can be fired at uh, 0.3 seconds instead of 0.5 seconds after a trigger pull. So, it's basically, the Loki is significantly faster at fighting, uh, firing now, which will make it slightly better and, uh, you know, you get more kills out of it. But still, the Loki sucks. Just my opinion. People may like it, people may not. Best kill streak on the game, my opinion, it is by far the worst kill streak in Call of Duty history. So going down to the new features section, they have added a reset stats option for max players. So if you're that kind of guy who wants to reset your stats and start from scratch with no weapons or anything, you can now reset your stats to make you basically rank one again. So if you were like doing that, do it. At your own free will though. So going down, we have the updated hit marker. So they updated the hit marker to the orange colour when it's the killing hit. Therefore, you know when you're getting a two-shot kill or a three-shot kill or possibly more. You also do know when you're getting two-shotted, which will make you more pissed off at the game, but still is a big factor. Uh, you know when you're getting kills pretty quick and you know when to not stop shooting because a lot of people do stop shooting pretty early on and then just get turned on, which can be a big, you know, career ender. So going down, so the Oracle now pings. So the Oracle... Uh, pings now show an orange symbol on the player hood indicating that you are outlined which is a massive factor as well uh, when someone has the oracle you didn't know when you were being detected on the map or you know through the walls and stuff therefore making it very easy to get kills for the enemy now you kind of know when the oracle is uh, your outland therefore you can you know play at a slower pace and be more cautious that people are gonna come and kill you because you're an easy target 
So, you know, it's a little bit better. I know this is a little bit late for these kind of features to be added in uh, about seven months late. But you know what? Better late than never. And uh, it'll make the game a little bit better for me to play within the next few weeks or months. But anyway, guys, if this helped you or if this gave you a bit more insight of the update, please drop a like and a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next video.